All right, what up, man? What up? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, last week, I had one deal last week. They went, man, that, that was pretty good. Y'all just went a long time. I went, all right, man, well, you know, our, our goal is to keep it 15 to 20 and not, you know, yeah. I think we went 32 minutes last week. Yeah, and, I'm, and school starts today, so I got a hard 7.30. I got to go. <laughs> so we can go. Uh, let's do let's do this what because we're 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 talking about writing this series right and we talked last week which they didn't know but we you, really came up with roy's well ask me the question that led to our conversation uh i asked you in wounded who was roy and are we taking it, who is Roy now at this point since it's not like the movie? You know, this is – it's probably before the movie because he's – if you ain't watched Wounded, I ain't going to tell you what happens. So this is probably before he finds Jera. Let's just say that. So who is Roy? Well, I, I, I just see the series as like the – it's just the same character, but, you know, it's like a different reality. I mean, not like a literal like – Right prequel or sequel just that's that same character but these adventures yeah so like i don't know i'm sure there's been other movies where a character died but they were like oh well we'll, we'll just <laughs> <laughs> we'll pretend it didn't happen and do something else with the character. <laughs> but uh, roy in the movie was when i wrote that like i mean keep in mind like i told you on the phone that's been eight i mean it's eight years since we shot it and then so I'll, nine years since i wrote it I guess something like that. And at the time I wanted, I, I, you know, after world war two, they made all these movies about, it was always a detective who was like a world war two veteran. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah. Some kind of like film. Broken. Noir. Yeah. They had all these like broken down <laughs> detective stories and stuff, you know? And I always wanted to, I thought, well, and in Vietnam, you always had like the, they were always deranged. You know, yeah. Vietnam, they were always messed up. Yeah. Coming back Rambo. Right, so I was like, well, what do we do with these veterans? I, I, well, my thought was he's just he has PTSD, but he just wants to just get away. So it's, that would be his deal is he wants to just get enough money to just go away and just, just be left alone by society. And then he finds Jera, and then he makes the, his mistake is he helped her. Right. And if he did not help her and just moved on, he, he would have got what he wanted. But he helped her, and it all went to hell. So with this one, I thought, well, how do we make a series out of it? And you asked me, like, who is he now? And uh, kind of we kicked some names back and forth. But I think he comes back to, like, Mad Max. Right. Mad Max. And every Mad Max movie, well, except the first one. Uh, uh, he Well, he, kind of the first one, too. He helps people, and he has to, like, he gets the short of the stick, and they get – on and leave and go to the next town to be saved, but he's stuck in the middle of the desert screwed. And he's, right. he helps them, but he always gets screwed somehow. So it's like, well, let's just make Roy that way. He helps people. He's, he's, he's always wanting to get away, but he screws up and helps people and gets screwed. And so he's always like in a loop. Well, that, that's how, that's how we figured that out. And right now I'm on episode four, uh, and I stopped because the weekend just got so busy. Uh, I'm on episode four, and episode four was not even uh, – it's like you said, keeping these five minutes helps me because it's basically telling telling a, telling a moment in time of Roy's life. I, I don't have to take you way back or – you know what I mean? So I'll, you'll do all that crap. Uh <laughs> But it was after we talked about that episode four is exactly is exactly that, and I haven't sent it to you, but I will. But it, I, I think you'll find it funny because it what we just talked about the Mad Max type of deal, right? And it was, uh, uh, it was one of those I just wrote. He's he's about to do some fishing, and here's a problem, and he tells himself, "Don't go, right? Just don't go." And then he hears it again. He's like, dad, damn it. Or even trying to relax. Let me go see. Mm -hmm. So of course what happens, he stumbles on to shit that's happening. And it's like, after it's over, I had him say, he's walking away. No matter what, I'm having an effing relaxing day. 
Like, it's just no matter what happens, I'm going to have, and he just can't do it. Yeah. You know? So yeah, it's, it's just like the, like in the movie, you see Jerry in the car, and he just, I think even in the movie, he's going to shoot her, and then he don't. You know, now, now that we know the events of the movie, he should just shot that. <laughs> and let me tell you what I did. That's exactly right. Let me tell you what I did. I went back uh, Saturday because I was gone Sunday. I went back Saturday, watched the opening scene for No Country for Old Men, where Llewellyn finds the briefcase. Uh, yeah. And I went, that's, that's, Roy. that's what Roy would do. That is so Roy at that point. Well, that's what in the movie. I mean, that's basically I, what I took to open the wounded from. Of course, we didn't have no money, so the cars should have been shot <laughs> up and, and had a couple of holes in them. But we had a bologna sandwich and twenty dollar bill to make the movie with. Well, let's just don't let's let's not spoiler alert everything because episode we're only doing ten and they're only going to be five to six minutes. But it, one of those episodes might have a No Country for Old Men scene in it. Well, I hope, love it hope, so much. Hopefully we do. And I, and there's so many stories. <laughs> I, you know, and I don't think about these stories all the time, but we can talk and I remember them. I can't tell you how many people. We, we did the movie. We showed it at a uh, premiere. Premiere. And then I think we made DVDs yeah. and put it out there. And before Prime, before it hit Prime, there was, oh, there was a few years between when we made it and when we put it on Prime. And... Uh, can't tell you how many kids come along that said they were amazing after effects affects people. And I gave oh. them that scene. So, hey, add bullet holes and smoke to it. And I have yet to see that yeah. scene have yeah. bullet holes and, and smoke added to it. And I think one yeah. person tried, but they might as well just, I mean, it was yeah. horrible. It, 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 it. So uh, I wish we could have shoot up a card. We should have just shot up. We should have just shot everybody with the card up. But those are things. Know. Those are things. Now I think when we watch this one, like it's it's hard to do a, a car chase, especially from a stunt at, at uh, with just no budget. You know, because you got to be super careful. Careful. But now with being able to mount the cameras and do things different, we can have a car chase because I I have one in here for Roy down the road. It, it, I just wrote the car chase. I don't know how the story goes. I just have a car chase. So, so let me ask you a question. Let me ask you. A question. I think I know the answer for you, but me it may be a little different. When you make something to put it out there, is it done in your brain? Even if you don't, even if you do it differently years later, do you, do you ever wish you could go back and redo it all the time? All the time, yeah. because I I'll do live or die, and, yeah. and doing it now, I went. Oh my god! Not only the visually would it look good, but I would change so many things in taking time to make yeah. it better. You know, so I mean, I couldn't get away from the singing scene. I mean, that's just that's that's classic. I probably could have won me an Oscar. Uh, I think but, like with, with live or die, the biggest thing was, I think your structure, that's what I wish. Cause you were real hell bent to do that one. Yeah. That was getting it out of my system. You had to get it out of your system. That's fine. It's no big deal. But I, I think in hindsight, which is unfortunately hindsight that's 2020, the structure is what I think live or die. You mean I had some structure? Cause I was thinking I didn't have any structure. Uh, it was, <laughs> You were like a little kid and you make a fort out of like chairs and blankets. It was that kind of structure. But, uh, yeah. that's, that's structure is what's stronger. Like, I, w I wish I would have been more involved and I could have like helped you with the structure. That's what I think. Dude, and I'm I, wounded. I do too. And we talked about it, you know, but wounded, it was a, it was a more of a, it, you had an idea with a team effort. So I thought it, I thought that did really well. I wish I would have been more involved to make sure those action scenes were tighter, those car scenes and those, yeah. th those are things. But me and you were on a, but here's the thing. There's a lot of people that won't, won't say that won't, won't be hell bent to go. I'm going to do one come hell or high water plug yeah. uh, and get it out. Well, with wounded when it came, when I finally got, when I got it done, I was real proud of it. And then as time went on, I didn't like certain things. And and eventually, you're kind of like man, I can't even watch it. And now I'm kind of like it, I feel like it is what it is. 
I got no desire at all to like fix it. Nope. It just sort of is what it is, and then I don't care. And if somebody watches it and they say, "Oh, it's really good," but you should have, would have, could have done and list, I'd be like, "Yeah, well, whatever." Yeah, but that's I mean, the thing. I mean, you're looking at 2012. We did both a 12 and yes. 13. You know, when, not if when not if we're highly successful. Someone wants to go back at it and make fun of it. I would just like, yeah, all right, go ahead and roast it, man. I mean, yeah, dude, I, I'm with you. I don't go ahead. I, I, if somebody wants to give it, me a million dollars to put into fixing it, sure, great. Give me a million dollars. I, I would like to take that. Well, here's what we're doing. We're doing it with Roy. So you get to see, you're going to get to see Roy from Wounded yeah. uh, again, and you'll watch how much different we shoot now compared to then, you know, from 2012 on the Sony EX1, the broadcast right. camera. Camera, the mean, cameras now are so forgiving. The they're so, yeah. are so forgiving. I mean, we talked about it before, but, you know, the 4K right here, I, oh. I'll watch all kinds of content. And I'll throw YouTube and everything out there. It is so forgiving. I, I totally agree with that. Totally I mean, agree with that. I, I don't know why. I'm sure there's, a, sure there's a scientific reason for that that's over my head. but You're blurry. Put uh, your finger up. Oh, there you go. You got blurry for oh, a second. Oh, I got blurry? Yeah, well, see, there you go. <laughs> so, that, yeah, look, we're talking about that on the webcam. But I, I really think – the way and it's always that deal you learn with you learn with age you, you you get wiser as you get older i think now with what we're trying to do and we are not doing this we are doing this for the common joe we're doing this for the guy that's got the 15 minutes on his break that can watch our series and not making him go you know what? I'm going to go home tonight, watch the guy's two hour freaking movie. Dude, we're doing it to where you can watch it on your phone. You can watch it anywhere for, mm-hmm. for five or six minutes and follow the story of Roy. Well, I, you know, I think that I think you and I are more on the same page now more than ever. You know, I went through when we first started, I probably was way more like, you know, artsy fartsy, you know, more had some sort of like, emotional statement or something to make <laughs> and uh and i wanted to do that and all that kind of stuff and i i'm I, not to name names but i know someone else very close to me that is going to come through their artsy farsy thing and i'm like you know take it and make it a little more appealing to the masses and you you, you have all the talent but you're not making stuff yeah people will appeal to them that's the part and i think now uh, that little age and wisdom like i i got no interest in the artsy farsy I'd rather make something that appeals to people. And that's the no, thing you want it. Watch. That's, that's what we're, where we're at now. And, yeah. and I think we can, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to hit, uh, like I said, today, this week, by the time we have this meeting next Thursday or next Monday, by the time we have this next meeting, I'm hoping to be done with my side of all 10. And then I could just give to you and clean up and redo and put the right words in there. And then I'll start taking pictures of, you know, nailing down locations and stuff. Now I do have a question. Yeah. I can, if I go out and take a video of location or I send a picture, we can cut it into this. Sure. I mean, I, I dropped this uh, last week's into the editor and I edited it out when you, yeah, I heard the beat, do the dog and I beat my, my, I said the elf. Okay. 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 I cut okay. the ends off. Because yeah. I I think there's a there's a few locations people will see that especially here in Waco will be like oh my gosh, you know, I definitely want to use the lake. You use the lake with Roy. I, I we used it with Cowboy and Lucky, but I want to use the lake. There's a couple good scenes, but yeah. we have a lot of access here. Well, yeah, which is which is really good for us, you know. But I haven't, well, I haven't having the, having the backyard. And then more so than, than the social media cowboys, the backyard, I think, gives you a lot of like, uh, well, not you, but us, gives us a lot of like uh, pass. Hey, man, I'm Russell with the backyard. Can I shoot here? Oh, the backyard. Yeah. Great. Yeah. It introduces us to a lot of people that, oh, they're not just going to come in and tear up my property because if they do, I'll come down there and tear up their property. <laughs> so I, I, that's how I always look at it. Like, man, come on. Come on, man. <laughs> so is the dark night going to be good this time 
Oh, the Batman with the uh, yeah. Twilight. I mean, the Batman. Yeah, with Robert, Robert uh, Patterson. Patterson, 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 something, Pat yeah. something. Man, that trailer is awesome. But you haven't watched the trailer yet. Uh, I'm fishing to after this. Oh, I'm gosh. I'm just pulled up the Suicide Squad. It looks it looks great. And now it, it looks like they put a lot of the villains in there. I mean, I'm not a diehard Batman guy at all, but I think there's like yeah. Penguin and Catwoman. And I think the main bad guy is supposed to be the Riddler. And then, I don't know, again, I don't follow this all that closely, but look a lot, a lot, a lot of bad guys. But the look of it and the intensity, and, like, there's a shot where he's taking his uh, his his Batman's mask off, and he's got the eye black. His hair's all stringy and nasty. You're going to like that shot. Is it, is uh, Nolan he, doing it? Like it? I don't know. It's not Nolan, but I'm not sure. I don't really know who is the guy doing this one. Because Gunn, James Gunn's doing the uh... – He's in Suicide Squad and Guardians 3 again. They, they they kicked him off and they put him back on. Let me look at that. The Batman. Is oh, here it is. Uh, here's the trailer. It's up here for Nick. Matt Reeves. Somebody. Matt Reeves is doing it. Matt Reeves, he did. I want to say he did. There it is. Hang on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, he did two of the Planet of the Eight movies. He did Cloverfield. Oh, okay, that's right. He didn't it it should be pretty good because um, the he did Dawn of and War Four on the Planet of the Apes. Okay. Yes, yeah, so he did the last two. He didn't do the first one. He did the last two. Both all of those right. are good. All those were good movies. Right, you'll like that shot when you see that shot. It, you'll like that shot where he got the eye black and sweaty and stringy hair. And Sweet, I like it. I'm and there are a bunch of bad guys in this room, and they all have like a mask or something on, and, and they're just standing there with like knives in their hands. They're looking at him and. It's just, you'll like it. You'll like the dream. <laughs> All right, I'm watching it next. I'm watching it next. So, so All here's right. the deal. You and I are going through something similar. I'm going to tell you a third. It won't take a minute. You are writing what you see in Wounded. And then I'm going to take it and give it shape. Right. So working on the novel, I kind of am going through that same thing now. I wrote about 60 pages. And only about, I'm going to say 25 of those are, are going to be usable. I had to get out. So I think there's something to this getting stuff out of your system. Yeah, right. I, for some reason, my brain, I could not get my brain around. I had to see the person go from one to two to three to four. From you know, I had to have them wake up, get dressed, go to the store. I had to like go through the whole chain of events. Right. And then I, I put it together. And it's all there. And I'm reading through it. And I'm like, no one's going to want to read this. No one gives it. I, I'm, I'm stop reading the book if I'm reading this book. So I just took that. I got it out of my system and I moved it down and now I'm rewriting the end, the beginning to get right into it. But, so I think there's but, something to be said for getting it out of your system. I think, yeah, I, dude, I totally agree with that. I totally agree. I have to, it's the same thing. We are, we're trying to make, we're trying to make people follow us at a real time pace and we know it won't make it in there and you know it won't, you know you're not going to use all that. Mm-hmm. But if we don't write it down, it's hard to chop out. Yeah, it's hard to just start him waking up if we don't go. The alarm has to go off. We, yeah. we have to. That's for how me and you do it. Well, yeah, you watch movies and all these plot holes, and we're like, well, how they do this? You know, I've watched this movie and never even gone to the bathroom, and it's like, and so you start writing, and you want to put every little detail <laughs> of their life. <laughs> Because for some reason your brain can't just turn it off. And anyway, so but once you get out of your system now, it's like I probably am going to. I mean, I'm not, you don't know, delete it. I just I work in this. There's this cool. We, we use file draft for our screenplays, but right? Novel software called Scrivener or something like that. And you just it's cool as you write it. Well, cool. Just move it down your notes, and you don't have to delete it if you want. You, to have, you it keep later. it, yeah. And and so find it, use, use it. it, right, right, right. And so. But anyway, I want to say kudos to you for getting it out of your system because I'm going through the same thing now on the other project. It's just, I had to get out of the system. To but, you know, that's that's some much. of the things that we are we now are okay with. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's just get it out and get it and move on. And no matter what, you know, like this one, I, it's not that we don't have things we could shoot a movie. It's just, dude, I – I got to get these, this five minute deal. I got to get this dude either killed or season one over before I can move on to the next project. I got to, you know what I mean? And that's what we finally talked about and went, all right, let's do it. 
and making it to where every scene I can shoot in one day and then pass on. Right. So when I, you, you, you have for years shot just scenes. Correct. You, know, like you did that one with, with what was it Melvin and somebody Chad? Oh yeah, I did. Yeah. The, the, the good the officer, guy, or down, the or officer or... down. Yeah. Two minutes. It's just a scene. It's not a story. It's just a scene. No. You just fit you. But that's, that's our deal of people are not, we can't treat people stupid. You know, if the car rolls up and the cop gets out and says, get out of the car pump, something happened. We just don't know what happened. Yeah. I think, I think is my job is, is to take that scene and now make it a story. Correct. You could take, you could have took that two minute scene. In my opinion, you could have took that two minute and 20 scenes, whatever. And in that moment, they could have explained what was happening prior to the car rolling up because right. we started with the car there yeah. i didn't i just started melvin get out the car we're gonna kill you mother and that's how we started <laughs> <how it works. laughs> are you glad you did those kind of little things yes and the reason why i shot all that with the iphone 6 i i just wanted to see what it would would look like and now that i have the lenses on my iphone I really just want to shoot this series to see what it looks like. I shot that one minute deal with Lauren Tat. Yeah. And I think that would have been a good thing like Roy, but of course your availability with the girl is just, I don't have it. Now she's pregnant and it don't do me no good. I think with it, that's two in a row that uh, shot a deal doesn't got to have a baby right after. No, her sure. That's exactly then, uh, right. Um, what's her name? That's exactly right. Who was, uh, Oh, uh, Don's girl, Don's baby. Don's, well, I say baby, she's 27 years old. Uh, yeah. Yeah, dang it. Oh, no, God. well, you're right. You're right, though. Rachel. I mean, Rachel, yeah, Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Yeah, Rachel, yeah, Rachel and crash, Pat you got a baby. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but if you but, get a baby, I guess shoot a little short. Yeah, shoot short me and you'll be you're you're not daddy, uh, yeah, your man will get you pregnant right after. I guess that you get, you get, uh, you become famous and your man knocks you up. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I really am. I, I'm glad. I, and I, I shot with the Sony's. I shot the, the plan. I shot with the Osmo, but it was just stuff that I knew somebody would watch for two minutes. That's all. I, I don't think nobody would watch my. For you. I thought it was well, not just you, but anybody. Yeah, else. that's exactly what it is. It's like an exercise. And, and I think at the time, you know, some people were like, man, it's just a scene. He didn't really tell a story. I'm like, well, I mean, but what's wrong with that? I mean, it's the internet. Why can't you just make a scene? Yeah, it's called. I mean, actors do it all the time. They'll just act a scene that's a small sliver of a movie without context. It makes no damn sense. It's just to act. They're just practicing doing a scene. It's the same thing. I, I look at it as a, that's a class project. That's, yeah. that's your, that's your class project. I can't, I, like you said it, and that's what was great. All right, dude, good scene, but what if we did this now we're in conversation of, all right, man, great. We could, we could backtrack that up and find out what happened and talk about it. And you don't really have to shoot it. It's almost like you just said, the alarm went off. I've got him dressed. I'm going to have him take a leak, brush his teeth. Do the, and those are the things that I think that's how we work. Cause yeah. that's just how me and you work. It's easier that way. Yeah. Cause it's, I take things with, I mean, you're the exact same, I believe, at this point. You know, it's well, easy I, to, to relate. I think you, you were ahead of me and wanting to just make stuff that people would like. And I wanted to be artsy-fartsy. And I've caught up to that where I'm like, I just make stuff people would like. Because yeah. artsy-fartsy, that's when you're doing your own time for your own thing. But the stuff that yeah. people, especially doing social media for people, you got to cut to the chase and get what people want. I mean, I share memes. You know, and, and do I do I care for sharing memes all the time? Not really, but they get more engagement because people like them. That that's our whole deal now. You know, what do people like? And what do people like? how can we produce content? I always look at it like this: if somebody can see one, I'm taking it to softball. If somebody sees one home run or one good hit, <laughs> ha, hang on, there goes my dog. Got a dog coming. If they can see one good hit. Hey, there's a bunch of dogs outside. Let's wrap it up. Yeah. Right. If they see one good hit, then, uh, then they're, 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 they might want to watch it. 
Right. Instead of having to sit there and watch you the whole game. If they see one good scene and go, oh, dude, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find out what that's about. That's how I look at it. All Give right. the people what they want. Give them what they want. All right, I'll see you Monday. All right, Monday. Later. Bye.